Are you tired of creating static websites that don't engage your visitors? Do you want to learn how to create dynamic and interactive web designs? Well, you are in luck. Cadence theme has an incredible conditional display feature that allows you to customize your website's appearance based on various conditions. With this powerful feature, you can selectively show or hide content based on the device or any user role. Not only does this make your site more visually appealing, but it also allows for a smoother user experience. If you are ready to take your web design skills to the next level, stay tuned because we have a lot of valuable information to share. Let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Nitin Dabas and I'm excited to share some advanced techniques with you today. The conditional display is a game changer when customizing your website's appearance based on user behavior, device type or any other specific conditions you set. It adds a whole new level of control to your web design process. So let's jump right in. Before we begin, let's understand what the conditional display feature of Cadence theme is all about. This powerful feature allows you to control the visibility of different blocks, sections or elements on your website based on specific conditions. It allows you to show or hide certain content based on user interactions, device types, user roles and much more. It means you can create personalized experiences for your visitors and ultimately making your website more engaging and user friendly. To start using the conditional display feature, you must install Cadence Pro theme on your WordPress website. If you haven't installed it yet, I recommend installing it. I've given the link to the theme in the description box. Just install and activate it and you are good to go. Once you have Cadence theme installed on your WordPress website, let's move on to the next step. Here we will explore the conditional display feature and see how it can enhance your website's user experience. Now that Cadence theme is running, it's time to create conditional display rules. Simply open your WordPress dashboard and navigate to appearance and click on elements. Now click the add new button to set up a conditional display rule for your blocks or any particular section. Here we will choose the fixed section to create a sticky banner that displays on selected posts or pages. Just give your element type a name and click the plus sign button to add a new row layout. Now click on the advanced image to add the banner. Of course you can add your affiliate banner as well. Now choose your image and select its width as 300. To make it more appealing, select the section and Add some box shadow around it. Now come to element settings to set up rules as to where and when it should appear. First select its placement as I want it to appear when somebody scrolls down the page. So we select it fixed top after scroll. Keep the priority 10 and scroll down the distance 300. Now change its width to auto if you want to display it on the right sidebar. Else keep it as it is. In that case it would show the banner to the left. We should keep some padding around it. So add some distance on the X and Y axis. I would advise you to keep this setting according to your needs. You can customize the display options once you have selected the desired conditions. For example, you can show the block on certain pages or posts, specify the device types on which it should be visible, or set a specific date range for its display. I want to display it on all posts, so I choose single posts. If you want to display it on a selected post, you can choose it here individually and select the post accordingly and filter that post. If you want to hide it, 
you can choose the exclude settings and set the location where you want to hide it I want the banner to be visible to everybody so I choose the user settings here and set it to all users now select the platform where you want it to display you may choose the desktop mobile or tablet or you can set it to visible for all if you want this special offer banner to show for a fixed time particularly in the case of any deal you can choose the expiration settings and set the time till it should appear that's it now that we have set up the conditional display let's preview our changes and see how they look on the front end of your website that's quite good now that you know how to create conditional display rules let's showcase some examples and best practices to inspire you these are just a few possibilities with with cadence theme conditional display feature get creative and experiment with different rules to make your website truly unique one thing to remember is that the conditional display feature works best when combined with other cadence blocks yes you can create a dynamic and personalized experience for your users by combining different blocks with different conditions i have given the link of cadence block tutorials in the description box you may check out the review while the conditional display is an incredibly powerful feature optimizing it for performance is essential just remember using too many conditions or complex rules might slow down your website therefore keeping your rules concise and focused on improving the user experience is important test your website's performance regularly to ensure it loads quickly and smoothly for all users that wraps up our tutorial on mastering cadence theme with the conditional display i hope you found this video helpful in enhancing your web design skills please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye